Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a baby toy haul video. It's not something I've filmed before, but I thought it'd be really useful. Um, just because, yeah, I was looking for stuff to buy for this little man who's down here. Um, if you wonder why I'm looking down here. Um, yeah, so I sort of had to do some browsing and things like that. And we just thought it would be useful if I showed you what I bought. And it'll give you some ideas. So he is four months old now. And much to the other kids' disgust, I hadn't really bought him any toys yet. Um, because I just wanted to see what kind of things he'd be into. And I didn't really know what to buy because it's a long time since we've had a baby. A long time, been four years. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I waited till now. And so I've just done a big shop of toys. So yeah, I thought I'd show you what we've got. He started doing a baby sensory class. And he absolutely loves it. Um, I was going to say it's his favourite class. It's the only class he does, bless him. But it's really, really great. And it's not something I did with the other kids. Um, but I think it's really, really, like, worthwhile. And it's a really lovely class. Um, and he's, like, kind of perfect age for it. And I think, like, he'll be the perfect age for it from now on. It really stimulates their senses. And he's really interested in everything. And, of course, there's loads of things they've got there that we don't have at home. And it's given me loads of ideas of things to buy and do with him at home as well. So, yeah, if you've got a baby sensory class near you, I definitely recommend that one. So yeah, I'll just show you a few things I've bought. Some of these you might have seen in a baby haul video, um, but I'll show you briefly them again. Um, yeah, you don't need to spend a load of money. You'll see some of these things are really quite like ordinary and they wouldn't be expensive to buy. And some of them are a bit more expensive to buy, but you don't need all of them and you can improvise or get some new, new sales and things like that. So yeah, the first thing I'm gonna show you is this. These are, this is an Lemay's toy, you've heard of that brand, he's Mr Octopus and these are quite expensive but I picked this up at a nearly new sale for a couple of pounds and I shoved it in the washing machine and it came out sparkly new, love it. So this attaches, I attach it, you can attach it to his cart or anything, push chair like that, I attach it to his car seat so it normally lives on there and it's just bright colours to really stimulate their senses. And on the ends of his feet, they're all different textures. Some of his legs crinkle and some of them are smooth. And it's got a few things for them to chew because we're having a real teething thing at the moment. So yeah, a lot of these things are for teething as well as sort of baby sensory. There's a ball on the end which rattles, so it's good for rattling at him. Yeah, and the hat is crinkly. Um, yeah, so we really like that. It's just a really good sort of all round toy to have on his car seat for when we're out and about and he really likes at the moment putting this, these ends in his mouth and giving them a good chew so yeah these i think they're like 20 pounds normally but as i said i picked it up in a nearly new sale so it's a bit of a bargain you like that one you like that one boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> and the other sort of rattly type toy i bought is this one don't really know if you'll be able to find this. Blue Box Toys picked it up in TK Maxx of all places as I was browsing their baby clothes. And yeah, it's just got this spinny thing here and these different beads here. Um, so this again, it's really great. This is like silicone here with different textures on it. Um, so it's really great for them to hold. This handle's really easy for them to hold. And I give it a rattle and then, you know, you can chew it. It's not quite... He hasn't quite got the hand coordination yet to purposefully put things in his mouth like this yet. Um, but it's coming, so this is going to be a really great one. What I'll probably do is attach it to the push chair somehow. I'm going to buy those like toy attachment um, ribbons. So I'll attach it to his push chair so he doesn't drop it. At the moment, this sort of lives downstairs by his. He's got a, a, a chair he sits in at the dining table. Um, so this sits here to entertain him when he's grumpy while we're all having dinner. Because he can't have dinner yet because he's only four months old. Um, more sort of teething toys. Again, I've sort of shown these in my other video. But I think this video is going to go up first. Um, I've bought a few of these on Etsy. So this is a little teaser thing. It's sort of rabbit ears. These are made of fabric. And on the back there is fleece. And it's just got... A dinosaur print you can get these all sorts cats decided to join the video there she wants a bit of the youtube action yeah and it just comes on this wooden ring 
if you can see that so it's really easy again for them to hold on to and to chew um so that sort of lives upstairs in his chair upstairs we sort of try to dot the toys around a bit so you got that one yeah cat really the other thing i've got i didn't buy myself i bought someone bought it to me as a gift actually while i was pregnant is one of these teething necklaces um or breastfeeding necklaces they're made of silicone beads and you get them in all different designs from all different sellers so i don't know where she got this one from and it's got a safety catch here putting it on and off and you just put it on and it's really good like when you're breastfeeding they can fiddle with this because at this age they get really fidgety when they're feeding don't know if they do while they're bottle feeding but they certainly do when they're breastfeeding they get really fidgety so it stops them pulling at your clothes and pulling at your other boob the other cat's here now honestly yeah so um that's really good and because these are silicone they can chew on these as well so if you're wearing this and they were like looking for something to chew you could take it off and you could have a little chew just be careful because of the bees i think they um they knock them on but i would definitely not leave them unsupervised with that but then again i wouldn't leave him unsupervised with anything and the other sort of teething toy i got off etsy was this teether ring oh can i show you it's basically just again one of these wooden rings and someone's crocheted around the edge and just gives it a really nice texture for them to chew on um, and helps their gums when they're sore and again because these rings are quite small they're just perfect for their little hands to hold these aren't too heavy um so that's a good one yeah yeah it is do you want to hold it do you want to hold it So next I'm going to show you this baby sensory bundle I have. So I've got a box here of all his toys. And I've basically bought a baby sensory bundle of Etsy. I really love Etsy at the moment. Um, and I like to support sort of independent sellers, things like that. So you can buy all this individually, which is why I'm showing you. But I just want it easier to buy it in one bundle. So all different things. So first in there are these flashcards the black and white because when they're newborn that's like the easiest for them to see they're double sided as well so they've got things on the other side and these are laminated so these would actually be really easy for you to make yourself if you have access to a laminator just print some black and white images onto paper and laminate them job done so yeah they're good for especially when they're newborns you could even stick them on the sides of their cots so they can see them or put them by the side of the changing table really good for strengthening their muscles in their eyes and things like that and um, the other thing sort of similar to that i got was a mirror it's a like cardboard mirror so it's not going to break and they really babies really like looking at their reflections so this is like really good for them to hold you can see it's my camera set up can you see how glamorous my setup is thick because i couldn't find my tripod <laughs> so the camera my tripod is a pack of pampers nappies and a laundry basket yeah, so that's really good for like holding in front of them and showing them themselves in the mirror. There's also a couple of like toys in there. The first one is a hand puppet. So you can buy these really cheaply anywhere and it's just to have something for them to play with. You can sing a song and um, play peekaboo, all different games like that. It's really good for their development and it can be any sort of puppet. Um, it's just a mouse puppet that came with it. But yeah. Like he'll follow this with his eyes. Yeah, I'll follow that with his eyes and yeah, like I said, I, I use it to sing songs, it's quite fun. And then this is a good idea for a baby sensory toy that you can pick up really cheaply. And this is a shower like squeegee sponge thing. I don't know if you use these in the shower, I do, but this one's got a little pig face and it's pink. And it's just a really interesting texture for them to hold. <gasps> You're getting grumpy. You're getting grumpy. Um, so they can pull this apart. It's you know something good for them to melt. Obviously, don't use it in the shower. This is just his toy. 
I was showing the kids what I'd bought and um, they were like, oh, he's got his own shower sponge. And I said, no, he's going to use it like a toy. Yeah, and it's just, because it, it's um, like different layers, it's quite easy for them to grip to. So that's an interesting one. Again, you don't need to spend a fortune on toys. So yeah, he really likes holding that and trying to chew it, basically. Um, another thing he likes to hold and try and chew are these scarves. These are just chiffon scarves. And you can get them in all sorts of bright colours. So I've got a couple here. One red and one yellow. And these are quite cheap, but they, as I said, they came in a set. I'll have a look on eBay or Amazon. Um, if you're looking to buy them, if you're looking to buy them individually. Sorry, I'm quite aware that I'm looking up and down. It's because he's down here and I'm trying to play with him at the same time. So yeah, these scarves are quite good to like chew them from their face and take away. Again, sing songs, dance, they can just chew them. Um, just make sure you keep them clean. I've just washed these. You can whack them in the wash at 30 degrees. They come up perfect. The thing I got my sensory pack was this ring. Again, it's another one of these wooden rings which is so easy for them to hold and chew. And it's just got different <gasps> brightly coloured ribbons on. So this is great for them to hold. They can hold the ribbons. They can hold this. They can chew it. And it's also something for them to look at. It is. And it's... um. You can rub it across their faces or their arms, a bit of texture. So I really like that one. Then we've got a couple of noisy things in there. So this is like a mini maraca. It's in bright colours and it makes a little shaky noise. And again, it's, it's tiny, you can see how small it is. So it's really good for them to be able to hold themselves. And some bells as well. So you can see these, I really like these because they're just rainbow coloured and these are baby safe bells so the bells are contained in there so you don't need to worry about the balls and it's a little bit bigger so he did try to pick this up the other day and donk himself in the face with it, bless him, but um, this one makes a really loud noise, it's good for the hearing and getting them to follow a noise around. Now this is one of my absolute favourites, this is a spiky ball, it's soft. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Yeah, you can. If you turn down the light, oh, this is great for like baby sensory. It's sort of got a flashing light in it, changes colours. And yeah, he can hold it because it's soft. You don't need to worry about him hurting himself. Put it in his mouth because it's completely contained. Yeah, and it's just great for them to look at. This really keeps his attention. The other thing we got, which is really useful, I just thought I would show you, is a play mat. And this one is from Mamas and Papas. We've got a gender neutral one because we didn't know if he was going to be a boy or a girl. And yeah, it's just nice and soft for him to lie on and play. This base bit is washable. Oh, it's a grumpy baby. There's a mirror hanging here at the top. So we can see that and you can dangle toys. So again, it's got another toy with a mirror here. And a couple of dangling toys over there. And it also comes with this um, like roll, which is for tummy time. Are you going to try and roll over? Are you going to try and roll over? He's getting a bit grumpy sat there. Are you? You're getting a bit grumpy sat there. Did you want to say hello to everybody? Did you? My video is all disjointed now. Filming with a baby. Um, what else have we got here? From another Etsy seller, I bought this ball. Which is a taggy ball. As you can see, it rattles and it's all different kind of fabrics and all different ribbon tags. So you can't quite hold that just yet. But I think in a couple of months, that's going to be perfect for playing rolling games and catching. And he can pick it up and chew it. That's really nice. Right, also in our Baby Century pack are bubbles. These are cheap as chips if you go to like the pound shop, anything like that. Um, if you can see those, not focusing and I haven't got two hands. Yeah, just blow those gently over him when he's lying there or sitting there. And he is absolutely fascinated by bubbles. So they're really cool. And then this he absolutely loves. It's a bit random if you haven't been to Boba Century. It's one of these first aid foil blankets. Um, but if you get it out, it crinkles up and it's reflective. And oh, he absolutely loves playing with it. Um, I'll put a picture up of him playing with the one in Baby Century. I haven't opened this one. It's all smooth and shiny. But it won't be once he's played with it for a bit. It'll be all crinkly. But I'm going to get that out when we have our next little playing session. Because he really, really likes that. And I think they're like a couple of pounds. They're not expensive. And the last thing I got 
is from another Etsy seller um, and it's these like triangles and they're like homemade they smell amazing I don't know what she's done to make them smell like that but they've got little polystyrene balls in I think and you can build a tower with them I thought this is a perfect way to start tower building I show you we've got a whole bag of them here and a grumpy baby oh. a whole bag of them if he's gonna let me show you oh no you're gonna grab the phone <gasps> and we just make a tower you can make a tower out of these what do you think and they smell lush <gasps> Here we go, and then when he's a bit older, he'll love knocking that down, and we don't need to worry about him hurting himself. Just had to swap to my phone camera because my camera's run out of battery, and so near the end of this video, so I just wanted to film it. Finish the end, so yeah, because this one's grouchy now, aren't you? You're grouchy now. Looking at the cat, the cat's over there. Um, yeah, so I just hope that gives you some ideas of things to play with your little one. Um, I really love all this baby sensory stuff and I think it's really good. He absolutely loves playing with me and that and we play songs and we downloaded the baby sensory song off iTunes. But again, you could just sing songs yourself. It doesn't have to be expensive. So yeah, I hope this gives you some ideas. Let me know anything else that you play with your, with your babies about the same age. I'd love to find out he's my last baby. So I'm making the absolute most of all the time and trying to really play with him and focus on him and yeah just spend lots of time with him so thanks for watching this video stay tuned for more parenting and lifestyle videos i'm going to try and make some more food videos soon um and a few more cleaner videos because i'm i haven't really cleaned the house properly for a while and yeah need to get back into that so yeah thanks for watching